If you think starting your own website and getting your blog up and running is going to be difficult and technical, have no fear. This video will take it all down to the most simple level for you. I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a new hosting account with the hosting provider that I recommend, and I'll walk you through the process step by step. All right. If you don't know which hosting provider to join up with, go ahead and click the link in the description here or down below. And by the way, I'm John from convertdash.com, and my goal is to help you guys build amazing, high converting websites so that you can build the life of purpose and freedom that you desire. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in and get my website started. So I recommend in motion hosting for any newbies starting out, or even if you're a seasoned professional, uh, they have great support, great quality hosting. And for all those reasons, I'll also link a description that really talks about in motion in particular down below. But this video is going to be quick, easy, and walk you through the entire process. So if you're just getting started out, or if you don't have a ton of traffic to your website at the moment, you can go ahead and start with the business hosting. It's from $3.99 a month. Anybody can afford that. Let's go ahead and learn more. And you've got a few options here. I'm going to pick the middle option. The reason for that is, and really the only big difference between these two, is being able to support only two websites on the basic plan and six on the power plan. I do like to tinker around. I like having multiple brands and testing different things. So I do like having some flexibility there. And for $2 more per month, it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna go ahead and order now. I'll go for one year here. All right, and you can review your orders here. You can see you're paying for one year up front. So with the discount, you're down to only $84. And let's, I was clicking around earlier, browsing different plans, and I do not want this plan here. So I'll take that guy off. My total for the order is $83. You can also pick your server, and this is basically, you want to be closer to you, basically. So it, I think it knows automatically that I'm on the East Coast. It selects the East Coast data center. And for dedicated IP, you can just go ahead and say, no thanks. All right, once you're ready to move on, go ahead and click continue. And what's great about this is it allows you to purchase a new domain name. And I'm also going to put a link in the description to some tips on how I selected my domain name and how to help you if you're not quite sure what name to choose yet, how to really have the right things in mind when you're selecting that. So I'll go ahead and purchase a new one and we will search to make sure it's still available. And it is, so we'll go ahead and add to cart. And you can see here, it's free. It's also going to offer you um, domain privacy for one year and that kind of helps protect some of the spam that can come into your website uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add it on to this order uh, because I just some of that really does bother me but you don't have to if you don't mind having some additional maybe some phone calls every now and then from people trying to um, give you credit cards and things like that I don't want that it's worth it to me to buy that protection and any hosting provider is going to have that option that's not something that they're not trying to nickel and dime you that's just part of the business unfortunately Go ahead and hit continue. So here, it'll tell you what exactly you're signing up for. Um, assign names and numbers. So you're going to be putting some of your information into public databases when you do this. So if you want to protect yourself, um, go ahead and add that. If not, that's really up to you. Like I said, I don't like getting phone calls during dinner time, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and put in my email address. I had to create a new account. Okay, so I put my email address in and create a new account. Now it's going to ask me to fill out my details. Okay, so the shipping information, all that good stuff is in there. Now just put in your credit or debit card to get charged. I'm going to go ahead and put mine in and click review my order. Okay, and you'll come to this screen here where it'll show the kind of review of your details, what you just signed up for, and go ahead and click the agreement here and check out. As soon as you're done here, you'll have your um, uh, kind of welcome message you can kind of scroll through and see what you have going on here. So when you get to the thank you page, you might wonder, okay, what do I do next? And just read through here real quick. And it'll say you're actually going to get a personal phone call for some onboarding help from an InMotion agent. I've never really had that before from another provider. So they're going to walk you through the terms of service and how to get you set up and where to get your password in and all that. So be a little patient. They do give you some pretty good reading here. And I recommend you go ahead and check out this AMP versus cPanel uh, article. And those are just some new acronyms you're going to start to learn but essentially it's you know it's your account management portal and or account management panel and cpanel is kind of where you manage your account how you update email addresses and do different things that you will learn over time don't be too worried about it just yet but just kind of browse through here 
and uh, look around at it. You won't be able to log in yet until you get your confirmation email. And uh, that will probably come right around the same time that an agent gives me a call because they're going to validate the uh, their order and click approve. And I'm making this video right now in the early, early hours of the morning. So it might take a little bit longer for me to get a call, but I'll go ahead and pause the video right now. And I will actually record my call with in motion. So I hope you guys will enjoy that as well. So just a few minutes after you make your purchase, you'll have an email in your inbox from in motion hosting. So go ahead and click on this email here. So it actually is not going to call me until 8 a.m. on the weekdays or 10 a.m. on Saturday, which it is Saturday today. But luckily, they give us the option to go ahead and give them a call, and I'll do that right now. Thank you for calling In Motion Hosting. We appreciate your business and guarantee your satisfaction. Thank you for contacting customer service. Got you pulled up here. And then for security, could you verify the last four digits? All right, so just a few minutes after having the phone call, I get an email, several emails here, one with some support center information, just some articles that might be helpful for getting started and how to create email addresses and things like that, which is super helpful. Also get my receipt, my complete receipt. And I will get my welcome to InMotion hosting email. This is the important one. So go ahead and I'll get started by setting my password here. And I'll put this in and keep going. All right. And once we're in, you'll see here that I'm logged in because now I'll see log out over there. And the first thing you want to do is go ahead and install WordPress onto your hosting account. So what's nice is they provide that nicely, easily right down here with one click. So install popular software. And just kind of look for WordPress. Boom. WordPress, the most popular blog based content management system. Let's go ahead and install it. Okay, so now we're here on the WordPress installation kind of details, and most of this should be automatically filled in. So I'll just go ahead and review what's here. We'll name the site. I'll name this convert dash. And I'll put in my site description here. I might change that description, but we'll go with it for now. I'll scroll on down, create your username and password. This can be whatever you want it to be. And you can even uh, create your admin email right there, which is very nice. Okay. And now you have the option here to install some plugins. I'm not a huge fan of uh, additional plugins here. I'm going to go ahead. I'll allow Jetpack for now. I'm not even sure what this one is. I'm not going to do that one yet. Most of these you'll be able to add later on anyways. So there's no real need to do it right now. And I will go ahead and have the emails, the installation details emailed to me. and install. Okay, so WordPress is installed on our InMotion hosting account. If I go to convertdash.com now, you will see the classic beginning WordPress blog. We will also notice that it is not secured yet. And so in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and set up our SSL certificate. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.